<clears throat> What's up guys? Today we're back in the ST. Oh, hope this is a good angle. So feeling a little bit better. Start work Monday again. Thanks, Fox. Holy fuck, sitting around all goddamn day is boring as shit. Um, today we're gonna go for a little drive. I wanted to go wash my car, but fucking car wash has a line of eight people. It sucks. Fuck it. Um, yeah. So, I'm gonna address some, uh, some comments and shit. About STs. Um, so, the guy with the, the fuel issue in my comment section, that every time he f filled it up, he would uh, he'd have an issue after starting it and stuff, like uh, using the car. Uh, the purge valve, that would probably be your issue, because I've seen some, uh, some shit on that where it's an issue with these cars apparently. Um, as far as the shifting in the second gear that the guy made the comment about, um, I'm not, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna lie about it. I'm simply just a fucking mechanic with like a little over a year under his belt. I'm not a technician. I'm not very good at diagnosing. I'm not very good at shit like that. You know what I mean? I like to look at it more as in two separate categories: mechanics, aka part changers. You know, I could change parts no issues I have all most of the little tips and tricks and then there's technicians who figure out the problem diagnose the problem and then fix the problem right I'm not that guy yet I'm just a mechanic but I, I'm in the process of learning this shit so as far as shifting in the second gear like I mentioned in the comment I would make sure it's bled properly make sure there's fluid right um you know all that jazz make sure everything is fine on the outside of the transmission like you know what I mean without having to disassemble everything and if none of that shit works I definitely look into uh, to uh, clutch and stuff like that um, my truck has that same issue we're shifting into second gear it's just not not the play like it, it like like you go from first to second it's like like it wants to jump out as you're shoving it in gear but my clutch ain't bled properly the clutch was in good shape the flywheel was in good shape you know I, I I looked at it and inspected it when I had everything off and it looked fairly good so uh, I'm not uh, I'm not sure what my issue is so I'm looking into that as well. But uh, as far as asking the mechanic questions, dude, I'm sure the guys in the comments answering your questions are a lot more smarter than me. Uh, right now, dude, I'm, I'm mainly just a part changer with a couple tips and tricks and like a little, little, very minuscule amount of diagnosing. But uh, from my experience and experience I had with people um, to diagnose you need like uh, you need some time with the car you know what I mean you need to spend some time with it you know diagnosing diagnosing could be a, a complicated thing you know what I mean like it's uh, you, need, you need to spend some time with that that's why taking it to a shop is usually the best option, but I know for most people, they want to fix their own shit because they don't want to pay the fucking $100 an hour or whatever fucking shops charge nowadays because it's ridiculous. I agree. You know, if, uh, if you don't want to pay it, I don't blame you. And I hate taking my car places too because I know how most technicians are. They're fucking, they treat your car like garbage because to them it's just a paycheck. Trust me, I get that. And I'd say find a shop, like the type of shop that I work at where I don't care if it's a fucking a 93 Honda Civic 
or a fucking 2024 fucking brand new car. We're just getting treated the same with equal amount of respect. You know, I I can't say that because it's very rare. Uh, best best thing I'd say, dude, is do your fucking do your research, figure out what causes, and then start eliminating part by part. <laughs> You know what I mean? If you're if you're like not wanting to take it to a technician, and trust me, I don't blame you. Um, do like I do, right? Well, I don't do it anymore because my boss and my coworker they don't mind helping me. Cause they're just G's like that. But for someone who doesn't have that, I'd say just fucking find the fucking find the symptom list. Start replacing part by part. You know what I mean? I really don't have any destination today. It's just a it's just a fucking Sunday cruise. Just rip around, give people dirty looks, talk a little bit of shit, smoke some cigarettes, smoke some goddamn cigarettes. Try and rip some darts and break some parts, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna put that on a fucking t shirt. Ripping darts and breaking parts. So, this is like my first time driving the ST this weekend. Holy fuck. Oh, this thing got some fucking power. I never drove it all weekend, dude. Oh. This thing compared to my fucking truck, dude. <laughs> Holy shit. This thing fucking rips, bro. The fuck? I love this fucking car. It's so good. It's such a good car. Fuck it hauls ass. Fun fact. My buddy bought a dirt bike uh, uh, last last spring last spring fucking fall last fall my buddy brought a dirt bike or spring it was spring last spring my buddy brought a dirt bike and he, he's not experienced with dirt bikes so he asked me to drive it home right this is the road we take with dirt bikes and four wheelers and shit you know what I mean there's no cops ever here and it was two locations by the street so I'm coming up this hill right on the bar right and I, I can't I like I'm not gonna lie, I'm a, I'm a fairly experienced rider, like I can handle myself, but uh, I couldn't see very well. So right there, they, for some stupid fucking reason, the town put up fucking barricades, and you know, like I'm I'm giving the fucking bike beans, and I was coming up this hill, and they put the barricades right in the blind spot, as when you come over the hill, you see them. So I'm I'm fucking ripping that, and it's a it's a RM it's a RM two fifty. Uh, RM252 stroke fucking like shit hauled fucking ass bro so I come over the hill and I see the barricades there's a big snow bank on the right big snow bank on the left trees and a fence fence on the right trees on the left and barricades in the fucking middle so it was like I'm fucking hauling ass and I got a split decision to make right like super fucking quick I'm like oh shit so trees barricade snowbank fence i'm like fuck it i i hit it to the right and i hold it to the fucking bar like i'm like i'm hitting that hit it at a fucking speed hopefully i pile through it no the fucking front tire dug right in dude i flew off the bike at like a hundred i'm fucking ragdolling i went i went a good like probably like 30 40 feet like just fucking banging through the snowbanks like at one point like uh I don't, I had pictures of it where I, where I hit versus where I landed. Um, there's this fucking, like, there's a spot where I hit the snowbank, I fly, right? And I hit on the top of the snowbank, which was like, the snowbank was a good, like, six foot tall, right? Six foot tall, and it went into, like, a, you guys must know how snowbanks are in the, in the winter, well, spring. So, I fucking hit it, I fly, I hit the bottom. And I felt my fucking neck, like, do a fucking, like, like, it was like, I thought I broke my neck. 
So, because I was wearing a helmet, and the visor got caught in the snow, and as it went down, you know what I mean? I hit the, the visor in the snow, and my body folded behind it. So, I'm shifting into seventh here. So, I, I hit the snowbank, I bounced off the bottom snowbank, and then I raked all up onto the top of the snowbank, hit the top snowbank, and I rolled down into the, the, the lower snowbank again, dude. I'm just laying there, I'm like, uh, uh, uh. So I like start feeling my body and shit. I'm like, okay, I'm fine. <laughs> like, I get up, dude. Snow bay, the dirt bike's upside fucking down and shit. Uh, oh, fuck. <coughs> so that was a fucking nightmare. That was, uh, that was pretty shitty. Quick story time there. Ay, ay, ay. What a fucking shitty day. That's well, not that bad out, but I can't wait for snow so I can give you guys some fucking drift content and shit, you know what I mean? That's gonna be awesome. It's not really drifting because it's front of the drive, but <coughs> you guys get what I'm saying. It'll be nice to hit some slides and do some fun shit. Especially with the truck. I can't wait to hit some drifts with the truck. That's gonna be fun. I got to, I just ordered the transmission mount and the sway bar bushings. So, should be no more click clack clunk. Should be all set in that, uh, that area. So that'll be nice. I, I really have no idea where I'm going. I think I'm just going to go to Bonaventure, grab some drinks, and then head her home. I'm going to make a truck video right after this video. When I get home, I'll probably eat some dinner, hop in the truck, go go for a little drive. Sorry about the little ST content, but um, my truck's got a fuck ton of fuel in it. I just filled this up for work. Christmas is coming, money's tight. I can't really afford to just fill vehicles left and right. I'm sure you guys understand. Uh, so, I'm just gonna like, make do with what I got there I'm not gonna stop with the ST content in case any of you guys worry about that don't worry lots of ST content to come um, <coughs> I'm not like most of the youtubers you guys are watching though I'm living check to check just like probably most of you you know what I'm saying nowadays especially in this fucking shithole I'm living in this motherfucker Trudeau taxing your taxes tax the fuck is that fuck him fuck him oy 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 what a shit fucking the world has gone to shit I swear to god we're gonna drive and vent a little bit. I don't really talk to nobody. I'm a guy. Nobody gives a fuck. The world has gone to shit, bro. Like, I grew up like I grew up in the early 2000s. That was a fucking golden years, dude. Gaming was fucking like coming like full force. Fucking, you can call people names that today you get canceled for, but. I don't really care, bro. What are they going to cancel? A guy driving his fucking car? Like, cancel my dick. And I was born with it, by the way. I, I don't, I feel like not enough people watch me to cancel me. So, uh, I got the OGs here with me. The OGs don't really give a shit about anything much, but cars. I fucks, I fucks with that. Uh, so, we're at 180 subscribers. We're climbing fucking quick. It's crazy. It's crazy. I'm like low-key famous now. I'm going to start looking at people and spitting on them. <laughs> I'm just fucking joking. That's a nice fucking Subaru. I like that one. The blue logos and shit. Alright. So, I'm going to grab some drinks. Uh, I'll be making a truck video later on today. I'm going to go home and eat and all that shit. So... 
I'll see you guys later on today in the truck video. Hope you guys are having a good weekend, by the way. Peace.